What's up, fish lovers? Sax Tanks here, crazy aquarium guy. I took away all the Igeria Densa and gave this Bellicinera a really hard haircut. But I want to show you how it looks now. I'm super happy with the double 50 watts floodlights. It's really bright in there now. It doesn't even matter <laughs> if I have other tanks. This was the only tank that had a bad glare. No bad glare now. Like you can see. And I'm using a tripod. If you wonder. That's why it's not so shaky. And I'm thinking about actually sending this to Bob. Steen foot. No, not Steen foot. Oh, hard to pronounce the name. <laughs> Steen foot. Yeah, you know who I mean. Chorus friend, Bob. And I hope he will use it in one of his live streams. It's 20. D1 Tiger Barbs for Amazon Puffers and a red Bristle Nose Pleco, two red Bristle Nose Pleco, two Bristle Nose Plecos, Originale, and a yellow with blue eyes Bristle Nose Pleco, and two Bolivian cichlids. So, as always, a lot of fishes in my tanks, but I do a lot of water changes and I have strong filters and big media for all my tanks. So, for me it works. I'd rather have something to do every day with the tanks than otherwise, so I'm happy. And yeah. I've just been feeding them, that's why it's so a little bit, uh, that's why it's a little debris in the water, but that's because I want the Amazon puffers to get the blood worms and probably won't matter because the tiger barbs, they eat till they, almost till they burst, but if they have a little bit food before it, uh, uh, the puppers get more of the blood worms. I still haven't found anything to feed that they will eat the Amazon puffers to trim their teeth down so yeah I haven't seen any problems yet but yeah that's a big concern for my future I'm gonna try on the internet from some other country or eBay. Uh, I think Corey had the tip uh, freeze dried uh, krill and see if they can, if I can get them to eat that. The problem is the tiger barbs are in here, so if I find something, it will probably be expensive and tiger barbs eat anything <laughs> like crazy. So maybe not the best couples to put together but we'll see so I'm gonna go and get some blood worms from the freezer and so you can see when they eat be right back
So now I'm back. Yeah, a little uh, info to uh, to Bob. Uh, of course, take away the speech. That's just for you and for my channel. But this is an 85 gallon tank and it's three feet tall so it's a really tall tank that's why I have air bubbles otherwise I hate air bubbles I don't think they look natural at all but when you have deep water tanks it's good to have something to um, mix the water columns because the oxygen will be a lot lower in the bottom and the Bolivians only live in the bottom so so it's good for the tank to be circled around even though I have a pretty strong power power head so that's why I have oxygen bubbles I've tried to hide it as well as I can yeah and the, but now I'm gonna give them blood worms And as you can see, the tiger barbs goes crazy, even though I gave them a lot of pellets five minutes ago. So it's hard for the puppers to get the, to the food sometimes. But they can, they can fight back, trust me. They really want it. They can have it. There is still some in the sucked up to the intake. See if someone's gonna find it. Yeah, one puffer find. That's the good thing about tiger barbs and puffers. They search, they never stop searching, so I don't have to go in the tank and take that away. If that happened to rainbows, they wouldn't see it. They're not the same kind of fish, they're not hunters, like tag barbs and Amazon puffers. And like Corey said, I never seen a big Amazon puffer, but Every book says they can be like four inches. Is that right? No, more about three inches. But still, that's pretty good size. So I hope they will be like that. They will look even cuter then. You can see on this puffer that it looks more nice than every other puffer. It almost looks like a teddy bear is floating around. Small little bumblebees always swimming yeah yes now there was five cubes of blood worms and they're pretty much still hungry but I can't give them blood, blood worms the amount that this the tiger barbs and <laughs> Amazon puffers eat and only give that food every day, so I have to find something for the puffers. It's too expensive to feed that amount of blood worms each day. So, yeah, this was my tank, and now it's one of my favorites. I always love the tiger barbs, and I always love the cube aquariums, and this is a huge cube really thick glass and a lot of filter media in the background 
and I hope the quality is good enough for Bob to use it. So I'm gonna put up this video on my channel and then I'm gonna send it to Bob also. So we'll see. Have a good day guys. Don't forget to subscribe to Sax Tanks Crazy Aquarium Guy. Bye bye.